Welcome back, thank you for joining me. We've got big pollution problems, so we're going to move our outflow as far away as we can, just so we can move the problem along. Create a larger stretch of river that's just a bit safer and nicer. So let's have our outflows here. We can have one, two, three. We'll join them all together, and uh, then we'll join them up to the, ne the network at great cost, but um, it'll be worth it the way over here. There we go. Uh, we'll need some power for them, so let's just put some power in the sea. Like I say, that's 19 megawatt productions, so that should be more than enough. And we should be able to take these boys offline. So let's delete you, delete you, delete you. It'll be interesting to see how the uh, are our pipes still connected? Let's just double check. Yeah, they are. Okay, fine. So we've still got the um, the capacity showing. And uh, wow, 250,000 out of 360. So that's gone up dramatically with our, our drive to get to the 8,500 mark to unlock things. We'll keep an eye on that river to see how, um, how long it takes to clear up. I mean, really, it should just push it all through the flow of water further back. But we'll see what happens in this game. That'll be interesting. So we're going to clean up half our river in our tiles and leave nice fresh water to be inhaled by these bad boys. We've got an incinerator we can place and a university, and we've got a residential area to finish off down here. And then we're going to be um, expanding out into this area. It's huge. Goodness me. And a, and a metro area to put in here, so we've got a lot of work to do. And you're probably saying, get on with it and stop talking. Oh my god, and we've got all these like dense areas. And I'm thinking, actually, um, so we've got this area in the middle of kind of like other areas. We And we've already got like a hospital and other things, so we could build up this area in, uh, to being dense. So we could just like try... Should we zone like a little block here and just build that up as dense just to get our feet in the water but we'll probably have to change the road structure around here and have another think about how we go around this um, there we go we'll put down our, our first dense bits and um, what have we got high density residential building under construction the grove It'll be interesting to see what it is oh they're building it now let's see what that does and how it's going to dwarf everything around it or not and of course, as it levels up, things will change. And um, we had to change that road anyway for this hospital, so we can use that as an excuse to say, well, this narrow road structure doesn't quite work for... Ooh, look at it. Qua. And what your neighbours think. Especially this little house here. <laughs> it disappeared. These guys, that's disappeared. Ooh. You moved out. Are you going to disappear? Nearly four stars. Oh, look at them. Well, that looks nice. Oh, I'm happy with that. That would look like a dirty, ugly tower block, but that's quite nice. Okay, let's um, finish off the residential area over here, and then let's um, get on to the other jobs. So, tree line street. I'm going to come off this node here. And bring it, oh, get the curve on again. Come on. Forget that, don't we? There's the node up there. Come around here. Down here. A little gap in between the outer ring road just so we've got that sort of sound barrier cushion. Nice convex curve going round and then on and then off here somewhere we can just come actually just come down here and round. Create an inner bit, an inner area. Make it look nice. Drawn back on there, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's zone it. Now we've got a huge demand for residential. We'll keep it low. 
density because we just want to focus on the other area being high density, don't we? We can we can do it all the way onto that roundabout. That's fine. It's not going to cause us any problems, I don't think. And if it does, we can always just dezone it. Fill in this bit here, and this bit around here, and we'll just go close and um, and micro fill all the all the gaps um, along here. Up there, it's a bit easier to see when no one's moved in yet. And up there. there we go, there's our new residential zone in record time. Nice shape as well. And we'll just see how the traffic develops in there. Hmm. Oh, I had an idea actually about this one. I think it might be possible to upgrade it into a um, highway ramp around the roundabout because look at the speed limits 80 miles an hour there. And um, otherwise, we'd put it at about 50 or 60, I think. So that could get people really zooming around a roundabout. That would be a really cool fix, wouldn't it? Um, let's try it out. Mm, it's not it's not showing us one way on the diagram, but I think it, it is one directional. How does that work? It's only a couple of lanes, but it should be a lot quicker. Okay, well we'll see what that does, and we could always upgrade other roundabouts, or it, or it may be that, it, that people like those um, extra lanes, so we'll have to see. I guess we could do highway. Ooh. Ooh. Highway roundabout. Ah, that gives us the additional lanes. Oh god, look, it's backing up there. But we have just messed around with the, the roundabout, so... Hmm, let's just see how we go. We'll let that unclog. And, mm, let's just go close and see what, what's happened to the um, stop signs and stuff. Here's a stop sign there. No traffic lights have gone in. I think quite often it's a good idea to put... to get off the road tool. Sometimes it's quite often a good idea to put stop signs all the way around the roundabout so that the incoming traffic can just go round but we realized that it wasn't a good idea there but it could be a good idea here where we haven't got a lot of traffic coming through so let's just see how that goes it is backing up but it wasn't backing up before I changed the roundabout was it hmm. this could do with being highway couldn't it that might be the job oh should we try out our soundproofing barrier as well there we go, we've got more lanes all of a sudden. We don't need anything coming out because that's not a problem, it's just coming in, isn't it? So now we've got two lanes trying to merge into one. This is where if you've got um, mods you can do traffic management tool. Okay, we're going to see how that flushes through because mm, there's two lanes merging into one, isn't it? say it but we may need the traffic management mod to free up that roundabout or I'll have a, a think about what else can be done because it's backing up a bit it might be that we could just make um, see we, d we haven't unlocked any other options on roads we could maintain that as um, it's more flow isn't it so before what we had was better so let's just put back in I mean we could put in a six-way roundabout but keep this as highway this might work let's just see if this will work because what we want is both these lanes to be going in at once and I bet you they're put in traffic lights yeah take them off let's take off the traffic lights no thanks no thanks you guys can still stop. It's almost coming in the wrong place, isn't it? If this could go over the highway and join on around here, that might be better. But we'll see if that improves the flow. We'll leave that to flush through. We made a few changes. You, you always have to like come back. But I think that's our first traffic challenge, isn't it? Let's see where the traffic is elsewhere. Oh god, it's dreadful there, isn't it? But we've got an industrial sector right next to a residential sector. Could almost do with another off-ramp. Mm. Back 
waking up, isn't it? wonder if it's worth doing another road coming around here for traffic that just wants to go off. Ooh! Ooh, you know what's causing problems? We're zoned onto the main road now, aren't we? Okay, let's unzone these people. And we'll just get rid of you. You're causing us problems. Goodbye. What else is around here? So it's queuing up to get onto the roundabout. Lots and lots of traffic now. It's still queuing, isn't it? We Ideally, I mean, if we had some mods, we could do some lane management. So, um... We could... Do you know what we could do? We can upgrade the road to a six-lane road, couldn't we? Um, so this is six six-lane road. This was um, four-lane road before, so this would upgrade this road going round. We'll just see if that makes a difference as well. We'll upgrade you all the way round because this is a really heavy traffic area. We just need all the help we can get. So I think that should solve a lot of our problems. It looks like it's flowing much, much better now. We're up to the maximum size of road we've got. Okay, I'm feeling a bit better about this. Seems to have freed up. Seem to have made some good decisions. Highway coming in here instead of slip road, giving us an extra lane. Bigger roundabout. Much better flow of traffic. And uh, the odd the odd stop sign here to, and here to improve flow. And we could even upgrade to highway here. Could we use a soundproof highway? Let's do it. We may as well. Just to help traffic coming off, because it does seem to be going a bit slow. Coming round. Looks like they're doing some sort of just coming around really slowly here and and this is where with lane management we could just have like two lanes coming to the right mm. all right well it's flowing and it's not backing up let's just okay fine 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 <laughs> let's go away we could spend all day looking at that um, right oh look we've got our three on each side. They're all the same apart from this awkward one on the end. Nice bit of higher density. And I'm thinking therefore we could put an, um, a university in here, but what we might need to do is just clear it out and do a new structure. It might be that we need a bit of a... Ah, the ring road could come across here, couldn't it? And down. Ooh, I feel an upgrade coming on because we'll have increased traffic in the denser areas. I think we're going to do that. Let's go up to four lane road. And if you can see what I'm doing, um, I'll just upgrade the road that I can and then move things. So I want to chase after this um, denser residential possibility. I've got a big road there. Let's dezone some areas that are right next to the road on the right hand side. We're okay, there's only a few bits. We'll just um, rezone that little bit. D zone you, you don't want to be residential. Neither do you. And neither do you, you don't want to be on a main road. Trust me. And then we could dezone these bits on the outside there, right near the river. And we've got some some large buildings to, to remove. And actually, I'm just going to put the game on hold, and we're going to go full demolition. And have a completely rethink this area. This will be interesting. Even our new dense buildings. We've seen what you look like, and we like it. 
They want more. We can have a real think about where we want the metro. Uh, no, we'll, we'll move you. Let's just demolish everything to see what we've got. Couple of nice Japanese gardens here that need removing. And we'll just move you somewhere else for now. Let's see, just, um, just move you over there. And we'll just move you over there as well. Next to your friend. I think we'll move the hospital out of the way. Can you go there for now? Oh yeah, you can go there. Uh, fire station. You can go up there, try and keep them in a similar sort of place so we don't lose them. And you can go up here. Happy days. So now we've got a nice area to play with. Um, I'll extend the road out. So we're just upgrading uh, along here. Now, if I push that road out to the river, would that give us more room for manoeuvre? I think it might, but then it would lose our lovely curve that we've maintained. Part of me wants to put a mini roundabout in the middle to connect up to, and that way we can have some dense residential going off it, and we'll have more space for these other buildings. Let's just do that and see how it works. Let's do a small tree-lined roundabout. And um, go on curve. So, the smallest roundabout possible. Well, I like to do three tiles wide for the roundabout. So we'll see how that works. What do we think of that? It's in a good place. Don't have the move it mod, so we're stuck with where it is. Probably do doing struts on it, but it, it might not let us. Just to maintain its integrity. Oh yep, yeah, that is a very round roundabout then. It lets us put the struts in. So we could have two go up to there, or this out to there, this out to there. Let's just have a play with where we think we can have the roads going to. Um, okay, so that's a, a straight road that just bends on its own. And then we could do the same around this side. Doesn't want to do the bend. Or we could just have them both going into the middle. Let's have them both going into the middle. Um, and come out to the edge. Right out to the edge like that. Or not quite so far out. Just see how these do. It's looking like a funkier design, isn't it? Think of this. Oh yeah, it's like the the eye or something. And but but the point is, we've got lots more space now um, for these larger buildings, and especially like a university. I don't know how large the university is going to be. Um, so this is the fire department. Or oh, police. Okay. Fire. Yep. So we could put fire there. We could put. We put the hospital. The middle area is where we've got the most room. Doesn't quite like putting the hospital anywhere. Come on. Might have to move the fire station. Oh, yeah, well, let us put the hospital there so we've got to. And uh, where did we shove the fire station? Was it there? There we go. There's the police headquarters. Um, so we've put the police on the other side um, of the roundabout opposite the, the fire station. And we'll just see if we've got any room for. The university now and then we can fill in um, residential everywhere else. We could even bring the roundabout up to there. Ah yeah that would work, that would work. Here we go, this is the finishing touch. I don't know if that's just ruined your lives or not or if you'd like that. But it just gives more connectivity to what's going to be quite a dense um, area. Though we're not going to zone in a huge amount. Still got 9,100 people. Oh wow we've got $9,200 um, a week coming in. Now, where's this university? There it is. Is it too big to place down anywhere? It is. Oh, that's a shame. So what we could do... We're going to have to remove one of these roads, aren't we? We could have this come out further, this road. Let's move the um, fire station again. This is a faffing 
a faffy ep ep episode. I think I say that. I'm wondering if I can fit the um, university in and then build around it. Doesn't like inward curves though, does it? No, buildings hate inward curves, that's annoying. So, we could, what we could do is just have one road coming through here. And if we curve that way, it might like to go on the upper side. Yep, it likes that. So it likes being there. That's fine, because that's this right in the middle of everywhere, isn't it? And um, we'll move the fire station back, and then we'll put in some um, some zoning, and then I think that's going to be our little upgrade for that area. Put the uh, fire station there. And then we could have um, a road coming out here, which would make sense, or out and round here. Out and round like that. Let's have a think. Kind of like that, but with a better curve. Hmm. Any good curve, it's not liking it. I'll just do that, that looks fine. Okay, we're going to zone this and see how it goes. And we can always play around with the uh, the colours later, but we're going for our largest dense residential area yet. It's very well connected, and I'm just going to have a careful think about where we put the zoning. It's, we don't have a huge amount of space at the moment. I've always said we're going to keep away from the big roads, but we could zone along here. Let's just de-zone for now. not got a huge volume of inner road that we can zone on. But we'll see how it is. And then we can de-zone up here. Okay, let's just see how that goes. And in the meantime, we've finished off our residential area up here. Um, we've upgraded this to dense residential. And um, more services, including a university. Happy days, how good is that? Not operating. Shall we just see if there's um Oh it's because we're on pause. Right, let's play the game. Operating normally. No students yet, but they will. And um that's gonna enable us to zone some office um spacing, which I presume you can put more in, in, in the town in the centre of the large residential areas. The river is it cleaning up a little bit? A little bit around here. Might take a while. There's a little bit around there on the curve that's cleaning up. And we're just adding in more pollution from here onwards, so this bit might get a bit dirty, but this will all clean through, hopefully. And um, we need to expand this next ma major residential area. We need to think about Metro as well. We've got $6,400 coming in per week. I'd imagine that was bringing us a lot of money in, but that ne now needs to rezone. And we've got quite a high demand for commercial, but we've left capacity around here, haven't we? So we'll zone more commercial up here. And we've got the option of dense commercial now. So we'll just go around the outside of this big ring road. And we can keep going round. So why don't we just do all that? Just so we've got a huge amount of expansion room to go into if we need it for commercial. There we go. Um, Let's check on this roundabout now. Oh, that's flowing really nicely. It, th there's not much density in traffic at all now. So that's really resolved itself. So that's a great fix. Happy with that. Let's check out traffic altogether. A little bit of traffic down here now. And around this residential area, but then it's got kind of not got anywhere to go and it's not joined up everywhere. So that should help once it's all joined up. Yeah, quite quite dense traffic here. We're on 91%, which is okay for now. Pretty happy with that. And we'll just see if we've got any people moving into our new dense residential area. We do. Look at them. Wow, look at those big houses. Tall. Should we 
ever. This is the biggest one yet. The Prospect Residence. It's being built up. That's kind of like one of the others we built, wasn't it? Oh, cool. I like it that they're small and not giant tower blocks. 54 people in the university. And that's what's taking away from a lot of our weekly income. The university's very, very expensive. Okay, looking good. Quite enjoying this nice green industry. Not happy with this landfill. So, I think what we'll probably do is put some incineration around here somewhere. We could come off here with a road and put an incinerator down. What's it, what's it look like? Oh, it's tiny. $30,000 must be on a roadside, so let's just branch out from a junction here. It won't go too bendy. It'll go a little bit bendy. Go out like that. I'm going to put an incinerator on a tree lined street. It's going to be next to our, our incinerators down here. And, um, and I mean, our landfills. And let's just see what it is and what it does. Hopefully, it will burn some of the waste and give us a bit of um, capacity back into our landfills. So, garbage reserves, 0 out of 400,000. Processing rate, 0 per week. Oh, we get power. Garbage trucks in use. So, it looks like they send out garbage trucks to landfill. Collects and um, burns garbage to produce electricity. We've got one in the south. Um, near our landfills here, and so I could do with one in the north Near our landfills here and here now We could do with letting that flow just to see how much pollution it it produces. Is that pollution? Yeah I'm, I'm sure that will produce quite a lot of air pollution and um, let's just have a look so that's producing quite high It's just mainly ground pollution Average drinking water pollution is 0%. That's good. I guess if we'd had a look when that was spreading over, that would have told us um, a different story. So I hadn't realised where that was. A bit of pollution there and there. Lots and lots of pollution coming off the landfill. Especially once it gets fuller. But it's not near anything important. Which is fine. Noise pollution. Wow. Lots of noise pollution. Especially along this, mid this road going right down the middle. We're on 23%, which isn't bad. I'll take that. Not sure what we'll do with our power infrastructure ultimately. We need to bypass that and move it somewhere else. Maybe over here. Have we got any high land? Yeah, we've got a big old section there for our wind turbines on land. And then actually a lot around here for our water turbines that might make them produce a bit more electricity even. Can they be moved? They can, they can just be moved, so we'll probably do that at some point. In fact, I wonder if I should just do that now. Let's just do that now and move some of our wind turbines. I'll just put everything on hold. Well, we'll just move a few of them over. So we'll move you next to you. 20 megawatts, yep. Happy with that. We'll move you over as well. Just a whole bend here that can produce a lot of electricity. We'll just have to keep moving them down the river, I guess. Any more? Yeah, there's some up here. So we'll just move our power infrastructure for now. All in pre preparation for the expansion. There we go, all at 20 megawatts, so let's just make sure we um, join them up to the electricity. Um, do a big ugly power line going all the way across. And we'll keep an eye on that because, and in fact, let's just join these guys up as well to, to make the grid. So they can share any excess power being made by that. And we've got all these boys that we can move over here. In fact, let's just do it. Seven, eight megawatts there. And it's all already joined up to the grid as well. Seven there. Just wants to go for seven. That's fine. I think that's all we were achieving elsewhere as well. Seven. 
Seven. Seven. Great that we can just move stuff. If stuff's full, like landfill or cemeteries, then you have to empty them first into another facility that's got the space, and then you can move them. So you can move stuff, but I guess the Move It mod, you can just like move stuff without even thinking and, and having to empty stuff out. So um, here we go, and we can get rid of these power lines because they're not doing anything. And they're just taking up room in our new residential area that we're going to expand into. And everything else should be connected um, in in the reverse way going across the river. So let's just play the game and and see, see if we've got power. We should have. Are we going to rejoin? Ooh, everywhere's not too happy. Yes, they rejoined the power grid. So they did disconnect and then reconnect. Okay. Everyone's happy. Whoa, 267 megawatts of power we're producing versus a consumption of 156. So that move's definitely a good idea. We've, we've only run out of power for these boys. Here we go. You're back connected to the water supply. Take your share of the power and, and give everyone water, please. Here we go. Everyone happy? Water go away. Perfect. So, there's our expansion begun. We'd need to come off this highway um, going up here. So let's try that. And we did come down here, didn't we? So our off-ramp would look something like this. That doesn't give us a lot of room, does it? If we go back on the highway, we can make the off-ramp look more like that, maybe. If we go down there, and then we can um, have a roundabout here, and then go into this this area from the roundabout. Yeah, I like the uh, the sound of that. So we'll just bring the highway back a little bit, like that, and we can place our off-ramp. Where should we have it? We can have it anywhere we like bring it out here. Happy with, pretty happy with that. Let's just lay it down there and um, we'll join it up with highway. That looks like a nice natural join-ish, I say. Yep, there we go, and then we can have the uh, the highway come come in and around or, or wherever. We'll just um, extend it out there so you can get an idea of what, what it's doing um, in the future. There we go. And um, we'll put a roundabout in here somewhere. Around here, and then we'll come off into this new new residential area, and we'll build some sort of ring road around. We may need to redo um, the bit up there and uh, take off the top layer or something. Uh, change that for a, a main road that comes across. We'll have to might have to do something with our water intake as well. So um, okay, join me in the next episode where we're going to be expanding London Town 